Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add black to an image using GCR and uh, some of the benefits of using GCR is especially when printing is that uh, ink consumption is reduced and if you're screen printing it'll make it easier to reproduce simply because by adding more black it makes it more forgiving uh, that'll help with registration problems simply because again black is more forgiving it'll actually help with the uh, uh, that fluctuation that you may have to achieve different uh, hues because again black has the tendency to be more dominant and it'll help you um, um, hide some of the uh, imperfections and uh, the way to do it's very simple before we do anything um, to make it work if you have a CMYK image you have to convert it to RGB apply the profile and they come back to CMYK. If you already have an image that's RGB, like in this case, I have uh, GCR more black and GCR less black. Both of them are RGB. So all I'm going to do is convert them to CMYK once I uh, adjust my profile. But if you have a CMYK image, first you have to convert it back, uh, or I shouldn't say back, but convert it to RGB. Once you have applied the profile, then you convert it back to CMYK but I'll show you how to do all that okay so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit color settings and where it says working spaces right in front of where it says CMYK we're gonna select custom this is the uh, I'm sure the default for most uh, computers which is 20% GCR medium and that's what I recommend but let's for this one let's do this is gonna be more black so I'll just leave it like that what actually what I'm gonna do custom I'm gonna do the a lighter version of the image click OK so now that I have it I have select my less black image I'm gonna to go to my um, image menu mode and I'm gonna convert back to CMYK click OK now this is what it looks like this is my black separation so now let's do the same thing with the other one but I'm gonna go to edit color settings and now I'm gonna go to the CMYK drop down menu and by the way these are some of the uh, built-in uh, presets that Adobe Photoshop comes with but we're gonna stick with custom now I'm gonna do medium and you can see on the gray ramp, let's say if I click on light, you can see this is your black line represents your black and you can see that you have less than the other colors. But if I go to medium, you see the other uh, three colors decline and you see the, the black being increased. So we'll, we'll leave it at medium for now. Click OK. Now when I come to the uh, more black image, I'll go to image mode. CMYK. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now come to this image, and um, I'll zoom in where the trees are because that's the most obvious one. And that's the image. As you can see, the image that says GCR more black has more dominant uh, black where the leaves are as compared to the one that's less black which only had um, uh, a GCR light profile and the more black had the 20 and what that's like I said what that's gonna do it's it's making it gonna make it easier to print simply because having more black it's it'll make it more forgiving in terms of um, hue uh, that fluctuation and it actually it actually it will reduce your income in consumption so now there are other um, profiles that we could apply and I'll show you that right now okay so I'm gonna go to edit color settings and custom now the reason why I recommend medium is because heavy and maximum are really gonna push the black and it's gonna and it could get really muddy 
also he has a tendency to start uh, shifting some some colors to black and white and we'll try heavy for now and uh, if you use heavy if it works for you you could actually use the UCA amount which is really what it, what it does it brings back some color so I'll just do 10 percent and that's just to bring some of the colors back it's not affecting how much black is gonna generate so we'll click OK now we'll go to image mode CMYK click OK now if I come here and already I, you can I can see let me zoom in on this tree already you can see that the image with less black still has nice colors while the one with a um, heavy black right on, right here in this area where the, the leaves are the darker leaves is starting to go on a little bit of a muddy green as opposed to the green that's here let me zoom in even more same area as you can see already it looks more of a uh, it's the black and white it's really um, affecting the darker leaves because they don't long they no longer look like uh, dark green they're starting to look more like a uh, black and white green like a muddy green and that's something to be careful of because it doesn't seem to be affecting it much here but if you have a, a, a different image where you have some bright colors it could look like it like it really got muddy and so you have to be careful on the shadows part because you could get an unwanted results and I'm actually gonna do the um, maximum black too as well so you can see what I'm saying custom so now we'll do maximum and like I said probably do 20% on this one uh, for the UCA amount and like I said that's just means how much color I'm bringing back in let's do okay um, let's do that hit OK image mode CMYK click OK and if I zoom in again now it's even now it has a lot less color and more black and it's looking more black and white so that is the reason why I don't use heavy or ma maximum I stick with medium so let's do that let's go back to medium to uh, do a final comparison so we'll do edit color settings custom medium I'll take out these the uh, UCA amount percentage I don't need it medium is not that bad it's not too heavy on black let's click OK now go image mode CMYK click OK now let me zoom in where that area is and as you can see there's no real difference I mean there might be a difference but I cannot see it it's so small that it's not visible but the difference is that even though they look the same as you can see here with the two um, with the images looking at this tree specifically as you can see I mean we're looking at the same portion of the image and they don't look different so now let's do a let me zoom out and but the difference is if I go to my channels hide this hide the other three colors and I zoom in actually even you can see it where the uh, clock is let me zoom in a bit more so you see that you can still see more detail than in one with uh, just a light amount of uh, GCR so well guys that is how to apply a GCR profile to any image and remember if you if your image is a it's in the RGB mode all you have to do is change your profile then convert to CMYK if your image is a CMYK um, then you have to convert it to RGB apply your profile they convert then convert it back to CMYK well guys if um, that's it for today have a nice day